What? <laughs> I found the radiator oh, problem. Oh, Ooh. shit. Have you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell? You're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. This video includes timestamps, so check out the description below if you want to bounce ahead and just grab the info that you want. Hey friends, it's Shane from HunterRinch.com and super stoked. You may remember about not quite a year ago, I bought this GSX-R750 uh, off an auction site. My buddy Barry uh, said he saw it on there. It was in Kingman, Arizona. And I picked it up and it had uh, Olin's dampener, Olin's shock, LE uh, forks, I believe were the stickers on it, uh, Yoshimura ignition box, super crazy loaded, attack rear sets, came with a Harris stand, it was super loaded, but when I went to pick it up, race body is a track bike. The reason I bought it off the site is it had Hypercycle Suzuki stickers on. If anybody knows Hypercycle Suzuki, they were the shit uh, for building motors. So I've been wanting to mentor under Kerry for quite some time. We've been talking and and uh, looking at some different things to uh, to do together. And when I when I bought this bike, it was really funny because like, hey, Kerry, I bought one of your bikes, and he ran the serial numbers, and sure enough, it was his. It was one he had built. And uh, funny enough, the motor was locked up, but I didn't care. You know, I got a great deal on it. Come here, even look at this. Uh, has the manual uh, chain adjuster for the uh, for the cams. I mean, bike is like, look at the Olin shock. I mean, this thing is the real deal. Look at the rear sets. So uh, I'm working here with the, my film, my camera guy here. Check out one of our YouTube fans, uh, Sterling uh, from Raven Arms. You uh, you came down to do some business and you've been training in the shop and we decided, hey, let's take on some like holy shit projects, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we've been busy though. <laughs> Look at this one. We pulled the motor out of the DL uh, 650, uh, did a lot of different uh, engine diagnostics on this one. So Sterling, uh, you've been pretty busy. Oh yeah. Learning a lot. Learning everything. But why I wanted to grab the camera and why I wanted to make this video is I don't know if you could tell from the excitement in my voice is that uh, I was super stoked about the little braided lines. Every time I look at this bike, I see more goodies on it. You know what I mean? Old Lockhart super bike grips. Like this is from back in the day. Race fairing stay preset. But uh, no one had locked up motor. It was like, ah, is this going to be worth fixing? Is it not? It was just such a cool bike from that era that I had to buy it and I wanted to get this back on the track and I've talked to Carrie and asked him like hey Carrie can you help uh mentor me through this and uh um you know have those opportunities to learn what I want to learn so it was, it was great Carrie was awesome of course I love that guy but uh anyway Carrie Carrie we got the motor freed up so this motor is locked up rigid so what I thought I'd do with the fans is talk about like how did I come to this determination and what did I do? So Sterling here, you got this firsthand, like the lessons of, hey, the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the back tire, I'm buying a bike like this that's unknown and put it in gear and rock it. And it was, it was locked up. So what I say I do next then, is you can see we've got the bike disassembled to a point where I pulled the spark plugs, uh, got the intakes out of the way, got the exhaust out of the way, and then what you want to do, here's, here's the money, is you want to disconnect the transmission from the engine. And then you could try and determine, well, am I locked up in the, in the transmission or am I locked up on the engine? Okay, so once I disconnect and remove the clutch, I can grab a wrench. Let's go to the other side and just do it. So I could take here and grab a wrench, and then you can see here, I'm able to turn the motor over. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it's rough, uh, but it was physically 100% locked up. And when I was kind of banging on the on the tire through there to try and get it, we saw the flywheel move. Actually, Sterling, you were the one that noticed it first. We saw that flywheel move, went, oh, oh, oh we're all excited, like it's starting to move, right? And so it really got us excited to go ahead and keep pulling things apart. Now let's, Let's talk about the band. So let me drop this little clip here right now. Check this out. This little clip is when we pulled the drain plug. All right, let's drain the oil on this. Get close. Ready for this shit? Ready? Oh, wow. What? <laughs> I found the radiator problem. Oh, Ooh. shit. Hey, Sterling. 
What's up? Uh, well, you got that water-cooled oil filter you want to show me? Yeah. That's a water filter? Oh, yeah. Never heard of it before? Yeah. High-quality H2O. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy stuff. Okay. So believe me, we weren't too excited when we pulled that drain plug, right? Uh, you could take a look at some of the photos I'll drop up here of uh, what we saw in the radiator. I mean, this thing's got problems, obviously. It also looks like it sat a long time. But I'll tell you what, when I originally was thinking that this was locked up, I'm thinking race bike through, you know, through a rod, locked up a crank, you know, something big and bad. If all I have to do is, you know, bore this thing, have it plated, do whatever, throw pistons in it, I'm gonna be super stoked to do gaskets and something like that. But look at this, I'm able to turn this over by hand now. Pretty sick. Go to the clutch again so I could just show. Uh, like I said, once we're in gear, once I took this apart, this whole clutch was was froze up. It was, it was locked up. So the steels and fibers have been sitting so long they didn't want to separate with the spring pressure on there. So this is what you do. You, you just start disassembling things. And this had been sitting long enough that when I tried to, make sure you see what I'm doing here with the wheel. When I tried to uh, rock this, this was locked up. Okay, even without the fibers and steels in there, I was going like this. And then I found that point where I went through and like broke whatever was just stuck from just rusting together. So that tells me, we're gonna to need to, do, you know, at a minimum, do the transmission bearings. We know, as we saw the video, it was full of water. So all of that stuff's gonna to have to be replaced, there's no doubt. But bearings are easy. I mean, that's something that's no big deal to replace versus like uh, a jacked up crank or engine cases or something. But man, I can't believe, it. I'm gonna have a hypercycle Suzuki. I might sell the R6, like it, it might just have to be gone, you know, or we've been having a lot of fun on this year. Been back on the track. You may have seen the videos on that. Matter of fact, Sterling here just brought us another R6. That was another thing that we uh, we picked up and purchased, along with maybe a gun <laughs> from uh, from you from your business. So, uh, dude, man, I'm so excited to keep getting this thing apart. I mean, it's got a titanium exhaust on it. Uh, this is gonna be a fun project. But hey, friends, fans, whatever. Uh, Sterling, since you're behind the camera here, what I want to say is the relationships we build with some of the fans are ridiculously cool. There's been uh, a handful of people over the years I've got to meet, got to work with. Uh, Sterling, you started using our tech line probably a year ago, year and a half ago, something like that. Something like that, yeah. Something like that. And so we, we started doing a lot on helping you work on motorcycles and flip motorcycles out of your garage. And you said, hey, you know, I, if there's ever an opportunity, it'd be fun to you know, do something together, or hire you to work in your shop. That's what we're doing here. Um, it's freaking awesome. So the YouTube community out there can be great. I want to thank all the people that have joined the channel. You know, Sterling, you and I were looking last night. You've been a member of the channel where you joined it like for, you know, six or eight months or something. Oh, yeah. As soon as we started offering that, you walk into my shop wearing a shirt. We can't thank you enough for all the content that we produce and everything for supporters like you that get excited and also help you make money. You know, in, in your case, you were trying to make money. Yeah. So, uh, super stoked, man. Hey, let me let me grab the camera. What's this been like for you? Uh, it's actually been a, quite an experience because there's a lot of people on YouTube that you'd look for We have a problem and you don't know what the problem's called. And then they just kind of zip through it. They're like, okay, well, this is how you disassemble this. This is how this works. But to find someone like you who went through each thing and not just said, well, this is how you take this off. This is how you take it off without breaking it. And this is why this is working. And this is why this is a problem. And you kind of go into detail. And I, I'm pretty sure that most people on this channel actually really appreciate that. Cool, so. man. Man, I sure appreciate uh, just sharing our experiences with uh, cool people as well. But dude, this is gonna be a lot of fun. This is gonna be fun. You know what I love about these projects is that point where you go, I'm gonna ride this. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this on the track. We definitely gonna need a spoon on some new tires. Uh, we're hoping to extend our, our agreement with Continental this year. We loved we fell in love with all the Continental tires that we. Oh, you rode tonight oh, for yeah. the first time. What? Or, well, what kind of riding did you get to do? Moto Jim Kana, Moto Jim Kana. Yeah, I got to ride the TW two hundred um, with knobbies. Doing that. <laughs> and <laughs> I was on my I was on my DRZ with the uh, with the Continentals. So uh, is is. Super fun. You did a great job. 
Oh, thank you. Yeah, you, you taught know, me, so. Well, no, Kenny, <laughs> Kenny's the dude behind that, man. That's that's the shit. If you're not hooked up on our Instagram or Facebook, we post mo more of the Moto Gym Kana and the riding stuff because I don't want to claim to be like, you know, some riding expert. I mean, I get after it. I get after it. There ain't no lie. I've been having a lot of fun, but there's there's way better people out there to teach people how to ride. We had a ton of fun on this bike. If you hadn't seen all the videos working with uh, uh, Dan Kyle uh, on our suspension, we worked also with uh, Eric over at Monkey Wrench uh, Works on tires and pressures and continental, you know, all the continental products, and then some suspension work with him as well. And we dialed this thing in, and I mean, you can look at these tires and see it was fantastic my first time working on slicks too so when i look at a bike like this and i see it all chunked up i'm thinking this bike definitely had some ability to take that uh olin shock and dial it in a lot better we plan to we plan to definitely do better on that but uh dude man fun stuff i'm at that point where i'm starting to ramble and, and the whole point of this video was to to get you to think about like how you can diagnose Hey, I want, to, I want to say I appreciate you as a member, appreciate you as a customer, and I appreciate you as a friend. So thanks oh, for thank coming. Thank you very much. All right. Well, hey, we're going to call it a night. We've done a lot of work, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you got anything you want to comment, like, share, all that stuff below, please do so. But as always, my friends, make it a great day and keep wrenching.